Hello ko pamilya sports fans, Migs Busos here at nandito po tayo ngayon sa ABS-CBN Sports YouTube page at patuloy pa rin po ang ating interviews with SEA Games medalists. For today, we have the Philippine team sa Aquathlon Mixed Team Relay. Apat po sila but three members are joining us here today. We have Erica Burgos, we have Aki Lorbes, and we have Matthew Hermosa. Hello, guys. Congratulations for winning the gold medal sa Aquathlon Mixed Team Relay. Hello, guys. Congratulations. Thank you for joining us in ABS-CBN Sports. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Okay, pag sinabing Mixed Aquathlon Team, Aquathlon Mixed Team Relay. Okay, so this consists of 500-meter swim and 2.5K na run. Um, siguro, Aki, I, I, I want to ask you first, no? how did you prepare uh, as a team? Especially that iba-iba kayo ng parts. Eh. Si Mati nasa Cebu, nasa Manila kayo. Pa, paano kayo nag-prepare as a team? Um, so, we were lucky enough to have a one-week uh, head start there in the SEA Games in our area. So, from once we arrived, uh, as much as possible, we trained as a team together so we would have a good uh, chemistry and we could talk about our plans for our races hmm. for the race first time nung mag- first time nung magkakilakilala dito oh, sa no. Cambodia hindi naman hindi naman yeah 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 so even if Matthew is from Cebu you knew him na from before yep yeah okay so what's the game plan Erica uh, by sila coach Ani ano yung game plan nito sa event na to um, well we strategize to um build the gap so that um maging comfortable po pagdating po sa end which is me po being the anchor so they started with uh, we started with Matthew um he built like a big huge gap already from the boys and then from Kira and then to Aki they already like made a huge huge gap which um gave me a good um comfortable gap um lead to the finish line. Hmm. So si Matthew pala ang ano, ang nasa nasa unahan. Matthew, what's it like, you know? Um kasi yun nga yung ano, 'di ba? Yun yung mechanics nung rules eh. So male, female, male, female. What's that like setting the tone right away na ikaw yung mauna? Actually for me, the the pressure is on me. Okay, if I get this win then it's gonna take a toll for my team. Hmm. Uh, siguro ano yung personal preparations mo? Kasi syempre, nandun yung pressure. Pero saka talaga nag-focus siguro para sige, let's let's get that lead. Uh, actually po, strategize uh, preparation. Uh, all I had to do po was like to go, to go all out po kasi just to give a gap for my teammates. And then po. Yeah, go all out. Uh, and you're only in senior high. Most of yes, the medalists sir. that we know get to interview are at least in college or already professional athletes. But you are in senior high. Yes. And if is this your first gold medal? Uh, yes, but, and it's also my first SEA Games in Boca. Asama with the other three. First SEA Games and first gold medal. Can I take us yes. through? Uh, I'm sure masaya ka. I'm sure you're overwhelmed. But from your perspective, what's that like? Uh, super happy po and super grateful po sa lahat ng mga tao na nagsuporta sa amin. And actually, we wouldn't be able to get through here without the people that were supporting us. Po. Hmm. Okay, and congrats to you. Uh, long road ahead. And uh, you winning it. Only at your age and senior high, you know, uh, really spells out for your future. Congratulations, you, Matthew. Yung isa yung teammate, Aki. Si ano? Si Kira. Ano naman yung mga kasabi mong strength niya? Wala lang siya today, no? Wala lang siya today sa interview natin. But uh, what can you say Kira's strength is and how was she vital to your team? Sorry, minute ko lang. Yan. Go ahead. Ah, did you... Um, yeah. Kira's Go strength ahead. will be the run. But 
she she played a very very huge role. Oh, uh, she played a very huge role in our team because, yeah, according to what Kay said, Matthew set the uh, tone, the pace very good. He made the gap, and then Kira made it even bigger. So she really, she really did her best. She pushed it. She gave us that good lead from the uh, from the start, which separated separated the team, Team Philippines from the other countries, and it's just up to me and K to finish it even stronger. Kung bakas yung pandiin, si Kirim pandiin yung pambaon, nag lead, de ba? So the dagger in terms of that. Uh, Erica, siguro for you, what were the challenges of the team uh, that you guys faced? Did you face any challenge? <clears throat> um um pinaka challenge was facing the um swim course because at that time it was like 2 p.m we started at 2 p.m and by that time well, the waves were really really big so it was one of the b- biggest challenges plus yung heat po ng cambodia so that and the run course was really, really difficult. But we had to like keep pushing since we already had that gap from the other countries. Mm, tama. Ikaw, ikaw, Matthew, siguro tanongin kita, no? Parang when it comes to the heat, uh, pa, paano ba yun? What's it like competing at a high level tapos mainit pa? Eh, maglaro ka lang ng basketball, eh. Nang alas dos ng hapon na laro-laro lang. Init na init ka na. Paano pa kaya sa, ano, paano pa kaya sa, sa sports na run and swim, Matthew? Uh, super hot po yung weather sa Kamuya, sabi po nila. And nag-struggle din po ako kasi nag, nag, pa, parang umiinit na yung katawan ko. So I just had to hydrate and take gels po para to avoid dehydration and so that I can perform my best po in the game. Hmm. I, I, I'll go back to Aki. Aki, um, at a young age, you guys are in college, winning SEA Games gold medals at this age. What's it like? Um, well, first of all, it feels so good to represent your country and to give the gold medal to the country, like winning it for the country. Uh, it's, such a, it's such a pleasure for that. It's the greatest feeling that I could achieve right now. And yeah, just pure enjoyment and feels really good. Okay, so Aki and Erica, what's next for you? Ano mga pinaghahanda ni yung competition ngayon? Siguro I'll talk with you, Erica. Um, our, uh, my next race will be in June in Japan. Po. It's an Asian Champs. Asian Champs. U23. Asian Champs U23. Mm-hmm. Same for you, Aki? Yeah, same for me. Yeah, okay. So, ano lang ako, tanong lang ako, no? Just a follow-up question. You guys are in college, studying in UP, Erica, Aki, in La Salle. What are you guys taking up? Anong course mo, um, Aki? Oh, I'm taking up international studies, major in European studies. European um, studies. I'm taking up sports science. Sports science. So, medyo aligned yung sports science. Marami mga athletes and sports science. What's it like balancing... Uh, academics and uh, no, being an, a national athlete, Erica. Ikaw rin, Aki, ha? It was easier before uh, when we still had um, online classes, but now uh, we uh, I have to go to UP for the whole week to go to my face-to-face classes, so it's a lot harder since I um, I'm separated from my teammates and I had most of the time I had to train alone and traveling to training and to classes it was really really difficult for me but eh, it's life <laughs> I, I know it's kind of the same Aki of course balancing studies but siguro what does it take you know, what does it take for you guys you know to you have to be 100% with both eh? but how do you still ch- strive for you know greatness <laughs> in that level uh, I think it's all about time management. How? How? Yeah. Um, make sure what you give in one thing, it's going to be the same. So if you're gonna go, if you're gonna give 
uh let's say 50 50 like okay go go 100 percent your studies then make sure you go 100 back 100 percent back to your training so it's like that always like that give always give and give Yes, mamba mentality 100% parate. Matthew, yeah. ikaw, you, you, you are in you are in senior high, ibang kaso naman din kasi yun talaga every day. Every day yung aral, tsaka parang buong araw. What's it like, you know, um being in that every not much not many senior high students are national athletes. Uh actually for me is different po kasi uh actually now I'm still catching up for my quizzes and performance task for my uh, previous days that I missed. Po. And actually different for me because in the morning I can still train because class starts at 8 and then after class po, I just train after. So I end class at 2.30 and I train at 4 p.m. and finish at around 8. So I get to go home mga 9 p.m. Po. And then back again. Same back cycle. Again. Well, uh, that's, that's what it takes to achieve greatness. Ikaw, Matthew, ano ang ano mo? Next competition mo? Uh, for me, po, currently, we are preparing for Japan this coming June 26, 27, same as K and Aki. Po. Okay. So once again, congratulations sa ating uh, Philippine Aquathlon Mixed Team Relay. Okay, sa Mixed Relay Team. Ito sila, Matthew Hermosa, Erica Burgos, and Aki Lorbes. Guys, congrats. Stay safe and God bless. And more medals to come for you guys. Thank you. Thank, thank, you. You. thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.